Okay, welcome back to Antimatter Chemistry. Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to make a video a bit sooner, but uh, as I tried to uh, edit the video, I realized that I had, I guess, the wrong scene uh, selected in OBS, meaning I recorded a black screen for like 45 minutes without noticing it. Yeah, so I scrapped that episode and uh, we, we did a bit, not really that much. Uh, I can easily explain that. So the first one is we did the gray and orange antimatter and the red one, which gave us redstone and how these colored antimatter thingies work is you just, wait, let me show it. You just have to craft them with some sort of chemical, here it's iron oxide. With the orange one it's copper and you know, the grey one is tungsten. And you get stuff out of it, including iron here, tungsten and carbon. The other one's orange, you get a bit... no, no, about the same. Copper, tungsten and a bit of silicon dioxide. And the red one you get... Strontium, iron oxide again, and also silicon dioxide. The thing is, you get way more iron dioxide, for example, than you put in. Same with the other ones, you get way more copper uh, out than you put in in the orange, and way more tungsten than you uh, put in in the gray antimatter. Meaning you can basically uh, just generate these elements out of nothing. We also have built this uh, draw tower for all the most common compounds we need. As I said, we now have strontium and a um, uh, good supply of uh, tungsten, iron, as I said, strontium, copper, and stuff like that. We basically made a few uh, stable, uh, st st a few ways to uh, make ourselves a few of these very useful elements. Okay, I also uh, dug a bit around here because we will need a lot of antimatter. And I don't, th uh, I don't know if I said that in the last or the uh, one before the botched one. I want to, uh, I wanted to farm a bit uh, antimatter offline, but I didn't do that because I just wanted to make an episode now and I haven't done that yet. We have a bit of charcoal, but I guess we can make a few furnace generators. That would be the last quest down here. So let's see, we have one already, the second one we need iron for, and I guess that's what we need, the antimatter as well. How much iron do we have? Seven, that is definitely not enough. So yeah, uh, do we, we do have redstone, do we need redstone for anything else, anything big? I don't think so. Okay, then we can actually go into the Tinker's Construct things a bit. And upgrade our fun little iron hammer. The way you do that is... Oh wait, you need... Wait, do we need sticks for that? I don't remember the crafting recipe. Okay. You make these blank patterns, make a tool station. Normally you would have to make a, a stencil table and a part builder as well, but we get the tools for free so we don't have to make them ourselves. And we can basically put redstone here to get haste, may meaning I'll just mine faster. Bonus speed tw plus 20. And I can also put in blocks to make the crafting a bit better, a bit faster. We need another one of these, which required two redstone, so we should put at least two to the side. And we can make six redstone blocks and one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it doesn't really matter. Boop and boop. Now we have plus 22 bonus speed, which is better. We can put these two in there as well. And we have, we have, we have one modifier left. But as these uh, tools gain XP, uh, they're 787 out of 4500, we get more modifier slots. And now we can get a bit more of the antimatter. See you then.
And as you may have seen or may not, I don't know, uh, the hammer is actually quite a bit faster. Let me eat that apple to free up inventory space. Oh. Is that an entire stack? Okay. Uh, can I eat something else? I guess not. Let's throw out the dirt. And store away the antimatter. It will definitely... Uh, nah, doesn't matter. Definitely uh, make gathering antimatter now easier. So I don't have to waste too much time on farming that. Now with the antimatter we need to make iron, which we get out of... Grey antimatter, if I'm correct. Yep, 50%. Meaning we need all the tungsten we have. And turn it into grey antimatter. This, that, and this. Push it through here to get a lot of iron. We need five, seven, I think seven. No, oh, five. We have the machine blocks. We have iron five means one stack is four plus sixteen. So one stack and sixteen. No, rather, no. Ah. Why do we still have some? I'm confused. Okay, iron, that should be enough even. No, no. There's some missing. That is enough. That is definitely enough. That is more than enough. Iron. One stack. And 16. That is 6. 6. Hey! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. 5 iron. And the furnace generator. Furnace, redstone, and machine blocks. There we go. Do that, do this. Have the second one. Grab the first one as well. And there is the quest. Item, du item ducts and servo. So we can theoretically now uh, push these items out of here directly into our periodic table if we wanted to, but that's still, I think, way slower than uh, putting them in manually, and I won't automate any farms just now, because, as I said, at some point, I think, I really don't like it when there's automation, uh, while I only have only one of these chemical dissolvers, because then it's uh, not nice to use them. Okay, now we finish this one and we will just have to make more colors. Magnesium and carbon. Still have some antimatter. Yes, some. Just stack of each, right? Yes. Magnesium. Eight of that. Was it here? No. Nah. Directly to next to sodium, yes. Magnesium and 8 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. <laughs> 6, 8. Um, there we go. A stack of that. A stack of that. Speedy Hopper 2. Wow. <laughs> we can at some point automate even faster. Isn't that great? And we need a lot of chemicals now. Aluminum oxide, magnesium oxide, and potassium chloride. Where, where did we get potassium chloride from again? It was some other source. Oh, salt. Okay. We can do that. Aluminum oxide. Let's just throw in the antimatter. Pink antimatter will give us magnesium, phosphorus, and carbon. Uh, we have to make the chemicals ourselves. What do we guess for? We get phosphorus. Here we get aluminum and tungsten. A bit. Mainly carbon though. And let's get a lot of salt. 
That is not a lot of salt, but I have water I can fill into here. Don't have fluid ducts, do we? I mean, we, we would need a machine anyways to power the, uh, the pump to get water from infinite sources into the fluid ducts, but yeah. No automation just yet. Let's get the stuff out of here. Aluminum is where? Oh, we have tungsten missing. Aluminum is over there. Silicon. Next to silicon. And phosphorus is 15. Should be here. No. Here. Uh, yes. Okay. Nice. You can put the salt in here, get the potassium chloride. Mainly, also a bit of salt. Get the potassium chloride, we have to wait for some salt to do its stuff and I guess get some carbon and magnesium. Maybe not all of it. Let's leave one in there for indication and go through the antimatter. It doesn't really matter which one, I need more of both anyway. So let's just make as much as we can, put it in here and see how we can make these chemicals we need. Blah. Uh, no one saw that. I don't know why these work. They're <laughs> basically just cheating. Okay. Um, Potassium chloride we get through salt. Magnesium oxide is just MgO. And aluminum oxide is Al2O3. So we need 160 aluminum and 80 magnesium. And this definitely isn't enough. Wait, did I... Did I get nothing else from the pink one? Heh. Doesn't this give... Oh no, it gives phosphorus, okay. This gives aluminum. And tungsten and stuff, but we mainly want magnesium and a bit more aluminum. We actually got quite a lot. Let's put everything in here. See how the salt is doing. It's doing okay. And yeah, we definitely have to get more antimatter. And I think that's exactly what I will be doing. Uh, yep, potassium chloride, magnesium oxide, aluminum oxide. Well, well we can. I guess no. We need magnesium. Maybe like eight. Two. Oh wait, nine for indication. <laughs> to uh, convert the antimatter. And then the magnesium oxide, MgO. We do have enough. We do have enough oxygen. Just make that. And of course the... what was it? Uh, aluminum. Oh, we, we do have more than enough aluminum. Uh, that's a hundred... this is a six... Uh, sixteen. Should be eighty. Yeah, makes sense. You're there, right? Silicon aluminum. Wait, no. Something's wrong. Mm. Why? Why is the carbon? No, wait. The carbon should be down there. Yep, carbon in the second, helium in the first. I didn't use the upper one, so I think. Oh yeah, these are above. One, two, four, up. Tungsten down here. Iron down here. Copper down here. Zinc down here. And aluminum. 
down here. And that, eh, that should be good. Do that. And, oh no, we need, we need 160 aluminum. We do not have enough, but we can make half. Wait, no, that doesn't work. We need to switch the recipe. Where is it? There we go. We can make half of the aluminum. If we had energy. Let's get some... I guess we have... No, we don't have a lot of hydrogen. Where Do we have a lot of carbon? No. Quite a bit, but not enough. What we have... But we do have charcoal. <laughs> this has 200 ticks, this has 1600, and you get 8, so it yeah, doesn't matter. It's the same burn time. Let's see, let's just store the carbon in here and throw in charcoal. We do have hoppers, so. Do that. Still have a bit of charcoal left, so we won't run, we won't completely run out of coal. Okay, now we have energy as well, and where's the oxygen? Did I put it away? Doesn't matter. Here it is. Oh no, we need more oxygen <laughs> than aluminum. Carbon 6 and 8 should be fine. Now we have like half. 50%, 47%, 11%. That is not enough. We can put that down here for now. Maybe we can expand this chest a bit. We do have enough of those. Why not put them here? And I guess this and that and this don't really deserve to be in there. They're not made to be broken down. Path as well. I guess the seeds can stay there. What about the salt? It's producing. That is good. Let's throw it in here and fill it up again. We need a lot of it. For now at least, I think later on it won't be as necessary. Because... I don't know actually why. <laughs> I think I just don't need the resources from the salt anymore. I mean, otherwise we could always just... Yeah, let's keep on water. We can always just... Um, make an automatic salt farm. I guess the automation will start around here. Maybe a bit later. I think a bit later. But he will get into cobblestone generators, meaning we will basically have unlimited cobblestone, which I guess isn't a great resource because all the probabilities are very low. But yeah, it will still be definitely useful to have stone just for free. Okay, now I think they will indeed just wait me get this, put it in here. We sort the potassium chloride, and now we get more antimatter. See you. Okay, that's that. I think we got, we can, we could calculate how much that is, there is 10 by 20 by 3, that is 10 times 20 is 200 times 3 is 600, 600 antimatter, so why not, <laughs> well, it sounds a lot but really isn't, uh, yeah, we will have to, oh wait, Got quite a bit of magnesium actually. And what was the other one? Aluminum. Let's look it up. No magnesium and carbon. That's it. Oh, magnesium in here as well. 
One, two, three. Oh, wait, I can. Nope. There we go. Oh, it doesn't really, ma really matter. Okay, that's. Nah. Okay, that's enough of the pink stuff. Eh, mouse, please work with me. Mouse, please work with me. One and two and three and four and why not the last as well? Six hundred of that. Push it through here. We need about eighty. That looks promising. That is definitely enough. Just throw it in here. And now the pink stuff. I hope the magnesium will be enough. Should be. Yeah, definitely will be enough. And then we can progress and make... What do we make? Obsidian. Set home and... Ooh, we can go to the hell. Yes. Let's get to the abyss. Mm. Aluminum, we need oxygen. We have, we don't have oxygen. Let me get some of that. Yes, and oxygen. That is quite a bit of oxygen. 11 per thing. Mm. That is free for now. All of that in here, get this out and throw it in here. Oh, yep, hydrogen and carbon are already full. Only there only are 512 V, so let's put that in there and carbon in here. Okay, that's also full. Next one. <laughs> ah, God. Yeah, we can use all, the, all of that as fuel. No, oxygen is also full, but that doesn't matter. We need it anyways. Aluminum, magnesium. We don't need the phosphor. Oxygen. And let's finish this one. This one, okay. Uh, we need a stack and 16. So this. And that. And that should be all of it. A bit more oxygen. And we now should have everything we need for that one. Great. And we get a bit of iron sharpening stuff. And a builder's wand. An iron wand. Uh, we need that, I guess, for the obsidian later. And now the aluminum can go. Oh, wait. Also push the magnesium. Was it even a magnesium we need? Magnesium away? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Oh, that is enough. We do have... 30 is 8, that is half a stack plus 4, no, plus 6, half a stack plus 6, we need another half stack, and 10, so 42, 42, go in here, and let's make the magnesium stuff. And we have to wait. We can sort our stuff again. Carbon can go in there. Tungsten and phosphorus as well. And there we have it. it should be exactly one stick and sixteen. Yes. I can do math. Okay, now. Put that in here as well. Let's see how the salt is going. Yeah. 
oxygen. Or do something that is good. Put it in here. I really don't know if you have enough. Doesn't look like it. Uh, no. Uh, how about we make that ourselves? 31. Need KCL, potassium, and chlorine. Enough bit. Is that? That is not enough. We do need more potassium. Uh, I guess only a little bit more. So that salt would be enough. And chlorine. Do we do have chlorine? And enough. Let's make that. That shouldn't be too hard. And let's get the last ones out of these salt bits. And yeah, still not enough. We now have how much? One stack six, one stack eight. We need eight more. Uh, can we get chloride, potassium chloride from somewhere else? Or potassium for that matter. Salt, granite, diorite, magma blocks, polished diorite, uh, andesite, blue slate. That stuff we will find in the deep dark. Guess we can either make stone or just wait a bit. I mean, eight isn't that much. We can fill this with water again. Don't bug around, please. This one, that one, this, and this one. Please! Okay, no. No. That's it. Okay. The bits of salt. Right in here, that is not enough, as I expected. Let's see. Mm. What was my plan? Get this from anywhere. Oh, we had good. Uh, potassium from somewhere. Except from other chemicals. Yeah, potatoes, but I don't have those yet. Dichromate. Is it dichromate? Dichromate. Uh, it's only potatoes. Uh, we need six more. Please. Do we have any weird chemical? That is chlorine. Sucrose. Oh, it has. We. Oui. Table salt. Here we go. Chlorine. Push that through as well. And that's enough. And the other one. We don't need chlorine, we, not, we need potassium. I'm stupid. It doesn't matter, now we have chlorine. Do that. Oh, come on! I think six more. Maybe we may get two out of here. Oh, four even? Wow. Generous. And two more. Please. Please. That's not enough. No. Chlorine. Not chlorine. Potassium, please. I guess we could see how we will make. We could make granite. Don't have another quartz. But we have silicon dioxide. Well, how much? Do we get... Oh, actually, quite likely. Let me get my 
silicon dioxide and make in it. There we go. It's not that much, but hopefully faster than the salt production. Or not, maybe we'll just get the two and now it done. That is also an option. That nah, doesn't matter. We'll get a bit more in case we ever need it. I guess the polished ones give you more. 8.7. And the polished ones. Mm, not really. Let's put it in here. Mm, or in here. Okay, now we finish that. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. Next time we will just. Well, it was just a bit catching up. Excusing myself for what I've done. And uh, getting some preparations for the nether. So next time we will actually go there. I mean, first make the portal. But that shouldn't be too hard now that, now that we got the stuff we need. And then we can explore the nether and get into the real stuff. It will be slightly more interesting from then on. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.